flash and left Turns out, safe is just another word for regret So I, I step to the edge and I, I take a deep breath We're all trying to live but we're all so scared to death This is the part where my, my head tells my heart I should turn back around but there's no turning back and now I'm going on Child, well done. So I, I step to the edge and I, I take a deep breath. I'm not turning back around because there's no turning back now. I'm going all in. Is anybody with me? Head first to the deepest. Cause I hear you calling. And this time the fear won't win. Anybody believe that tonight? <laughs> the greatest love story ever told. You know that voice, that's the voice of Reverend Billy Graham. I love that voice, I love the sound of that voice. When I hear the sound of that voice, it takes me back. It takes me back to a very important, what Billy Graham told me, the most important moment of my life. You see, growing up, I grew up in Chicago suburbs in Illinois. I'm a preacher's kid. And for a good part of my childhood, my parents always told me it was important to have a personal relationship with Jesus. But I think growing up, I got it in my head that maybe I would just be, I'd get to heaven because I had family connections. But at 13 years old, I turned on the television and I was looking for a baseball game. And instead, I found Jesus. I stumbled across this Billy Graham crusade on TV. Now, as a preacher's kid, the last thing I wanted to watch on TV was a preacher. But this particular day, I found myself unable to change the channel. And so I began to tune in and listen. Reverend Billy Graham began to talk to this people in this big stadium, but he was talking to me too. More importantly, God was talking to me. And I heard Billy Graham say, the single most important decision that any single person will ever make in their life is to answer this question. And the question he asked was, what will you do with Jesus? He said, there's only two answers to that question and every single life on earth must answer that question before their life is over. You can say yes to God's offer and Jesus' offer of forgiveness. You can acknowledge that you're a sinner, that you're a broken thing and that you can't fix yourself, but God loves you anyways. And you can let his forgiveness set you free. You don't have to stay a prisoner. Or you can choose to go your own way. You can believe the lies of Satan that says you're too messed up, you're too broken, God couldn't possibly still have a plan for your life. Or maybe the other lies that say you don't need God, you got this. 
You can reject his offer of forgiveness and choose to be the author of your own story. Or you can place your story in the hands of the one who made you the true author of your story. I'll never forget that moment. I couldn't change the channel and he began to ask, who wants to say yes to Jesus? I saw all these people coming forward in that stadium and my heart was pounding, sitting on a blue couch in my living room. My mom walked by, she was doing laundry. She had a laundry basket in her hands. I'm so glad she walked by that day. My mom's a prayer warrior. She prays for me every night while I'm on stage. I know she's praying. But that day, a prayer was answered because she'd been praying for this moment. She sat down and she said, son, do you want to pray? And I said, yeah, I think I do. So sitting on a blue couch holding my mom's hand with Billy Graham in the background, I prayed a prayer along with my mom and Billy Graham. I went all in for Jesus and Billy Graham was right. It's the greatest decision and most important decision I've ever made in my life. Tonight I'm here in Chattanooga to say I'm a child of the one true king. God has changed my life and he can do the same for you. Amen. Several years later, before Billy Graham went home to be with the Lord, I had the tremendous honor of visiting him at his home. We sat at his kitchen table and we had root beer together. How cool is that? I had a root beer with Billy Graham and I got to tell him how his ministry impacted my life. And now I go all around the country and sing songs just like all these other artists. And Billy Graham encouraged me to keep going, to keep putting my family first, to keep putting God first, my family next, and then every time I get on stage, not to leave without giving that same audience the same chance that Billy Graham gave to me. And that's why we're going to end our concert with you guys tonight in a special way. I want to invite a special guest to the stage. Um, he, I've known him my whole life. Uh, I've got two favorite preachers. One of them's Billy Graham and the other one's my dad. And my dad is here tonight. Would you please welcome Reverend Joseph West to the stage? That's a good man right here. They like you. Notice he's wearing, he's wearing his son's swag right there. I made him buy it. I gave him a discount, though. I want to invite you all, if you're able to, would you stand up on your feet? We're going to have a special moment here together. We've made a lot of noise today here at J.